Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Big Girl Fashion. So today I'm going to be um, updating you guys on my 25th week. I'm 26 weeks, 26 weeks in one day today. Um, I am in my bed, again, because this is most comfortable for me. Um, I have my doctor's appointment today, and you'll probably hear about that next week. Um, so yeah, I'm not in any pain. Everything's okay. I just wanted to rest my cervix. So that's why I am laying down doing this video and also looking very comfortable. <laughs> but anyway, so for week 25, my symptoms were um, I was waking up hungry. Like that's when I was always like hungry, but now I'm waking up and I'm starving. That's the word starving. Um, it feels like I ate in days like it. I can't even, I've never felt hunger pains like that in my life. It hurts so bad. So I wake up hungry. When I go to sleep, I'm usually hungry. So I have like fruit or yogurt before I go to sleep. And that usually helps. But when I wake up in the morning, I'm just like, oh my God, I need to eat something. Like something. Um, And this just started my 25th week. I'm reading my notes as well. So that's what I'm looking down at. Um, let's see, for other symptoms, lower back pain, um, that just pretty much started as well. Um, I notice if I get in the shower or like if my husband rubs my back for me, that usually helps. And, um, yeah, but my back has been hurting really, really bad, just my lower back. Um, and it only hurts because I've gotten that spinal thing. It's like an epidural. It only hurts in that spot. So, I don't know if it's because of that or because of the pregnancy, but yeah. And then another thing, my body just hurts so freaking bad. Like, I just feel so swollen and just so, um, like I'm stretching and I don't know. I just feel like my body is doing so much. I don't, I'm not comfortable anymore. I can't sleep at night. I can't get comfortable at night. Um... When I'm in the bed, usually that was the best place for me to be before. But now it's just like, I lay on the couch, I'm not comfortable. I lay in the bed, I'm not comfortable. So, it's, you know, it's a ch like freaking chore trying to like find a comfortable spot for me to be. Because everything is uncomfortable right now. Um, another thing, the clothes that I have are starting to not fit me. Um, I try to get a belly shot for you guys. It'll probably be in the... um. On the thumbnail or whatever because I'm not editing this video so yeah my clothes are starting to get tight and my belly is starting to hang up hang down at the bottom so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do about some clothes um let me see some facts uh, that I wrote down to tell you guys like fun facts or whatever um, I made a goal. I don't know if I made this. I made a goal before, but my first goal was to get to 24 weeks because it was viability. So I hit that goal. And now my next goal will be to get to 28 weeks because I'll have my length check when I'm 28 weeks. So that's May 6th. Um, I'll get my next link check. So I'm pretty excited about that to know, you know, what's going on with my cervix. Even though I am like on bed rest, I put myself on bed rest. I still want to know, you know, what's going on or whatever. So 28 weeks is my next goal. Uh, let me see. I'm starting to see movement outside of my stomach, which is really, really cool. He's really getting strong. Like his, I feel kick still, but I feel more of rolling and movement. Like, um... It's just harder movement. So, yeah. And then, let me see. He reacts to his dad's voice. Like, when he talks to him, he won't move. He'll be still. But, like, when he stops talking, he'll start moving around. Or, like, when he comes home from work, he'll move around. Like, you know, that's my dad. So, I think he recognizes his voice and he likes him. His dad talks to him a lot. So, that's cool. Um, And then, when, my, when I have my ultrasound... For um, the link check, they're also going to check the umbilical cord because I have, I forgot the medical term for it, but it's like um, where the uh, umbilical cord is connected to the side of the placenta instead of the middle. So my doctor said not to worry about it. He said it is pretty normal. He's seen it a lot. So not to really worry about it. But um, if anybody else has went through that, 
let me know, you know, in the comments because I don't know. I did my own research, but you know, when you go on Google and you look, you know, for certain things, it scares you half to death and then you get worried and it's just, it'd be all bad. So, yeah, I didn't have any appointments my 25th week. I had one today, but I'm 26 weeks, so I'll wait for the next update. Um, Let me see. I think that's it for this week or last week I don't I wasn't gonna do a video for the 25th week I was gonna combine them but I know I have people watching my channel you know that want to keep up with me and um you know that's interested in what I'm saying so I'm definitely just gonna keep doing weekly updates um because I mean things change but then they kind of don't but I have my appointments every two weeks so when I have my appointment I'll have more stuff to like tell you guys or whatever but um as far as you know now everything is going well um like I said I will give you guys the belly shot on the thumbnail and yeah oh also I'm going to be doing that uh question and answer video for the surclage um if you have any extra questions you can comment down below I think I'm going to fill that um, film that question and answer video probably right after this video. I'm not too sure. I think I might just go ahead and do it. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you have any other questions, just let me know. And, yeah, I guess I will see you guys for my week 26. Yeah. And another thing, I keep forgetting how many weeks I am. Like, today I, when I went to the doctor, the lady was like, how many weeks are you again? And I was just like, um... I don't know I get like I was so into like being obsessed and trying to keep up with it now I'm forgetting so it's that's funny but yeah so I'm just ready for this pregnancy to be over already so we ain't got that much longer they're gonna take out this saclage when I'm 37 weeks and I think that's like I think I have like 11 weeks to go 11 12 something like that I think it's 11, so hopefully it goes by fast, y'all, because I'm ready. So, yeah, I guess I will talk to you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.